Whoa, that was a close one. Uh, they just nudged you as opposed to yeah. cause contact damage. I'm I'm interested in seeing how much. Oh, okay, so that's gonna turn that on. So oh, and that does lead to you to go. the other area. Yeah, so this is the dead end. I was thinking we'd have to oh, turn the water. Oh, off? Oh, but it turns it off. Oh, thank you, game. That is that is exactly what I want to hear, see, mm -hmm. experience. Oh, I can even nope. I could swim in front of like a little bit in front, but just yeah, you kind of like glitch out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I think this game was made in Game Maker, and it shows sometimes. It's generally not actually that big of a deal. Game Maker. Uh, so there's a bunch of um. Programs, programming suites, design suites. I don't know. So they already have the programming for basic attacks and and yeah. Oftentimes things. you can like plug in a lot of stuff. That's why I'm kind of like, hey, yeah, maybe we could make a visual novel together because I'm fairly certain I could cobble together the tools with pre-existing programs uh, without having to learn how to make everything from scratch. Because um, yeah, you can you can download or buy like a, a pre-existing platforming suite. You know. Uh, a bunch of mechanics that can just get plugged in and customized as net necessary. After a certain point, you'll have to learn how to code. Mm -hmm. And obviously, art assets are something that one should do themselves, yeah. too. Yeah, though you can buy those as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then, it, then you run into the risk of, aren't there those... Well, we were just talking about visual novels. Aren't there those visual novel games that just use the same sort of anime-esque... Assets. Well, apparently that's actually a huge issue lately. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a, They're inundating Steam. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of uh, hentai visual novels uh -oh. um, that have been uh, lifting, well, straight up like hentai artists' work and whatnot to make oh. really crappy like visual novels and asset flip games. Yeah, and they're I... just covering Steam. Uh, and yeah, that's copyright infringement on grand scale, but. It does remind me... Oh, wait. Oh, you're supposed to use those to shift the platforms. Yeah, it reminds me of how I was on Instagram, and one of the artists I follow had someone comment on a piece that they were doing, like, a throwback Thursday. So one of their old pieces of artwork. They're like, hey, you know, I done this two years ago, and this is one of my favorite pieces that I've done. And a person's like, wow, this is from this game. And, like, there were just tons of comments of people being like, this is from a video game. And they're like... I didn't, I didn't allow anyone to use this piece for a video game, and they said it was like a background for some kind of rhythm dance dance-esque game that they got as an app. You know, because app games are just, they're, they're definitely suspect. People are just trying to make a quick buck, so they'll push out these very quick games, and yeah, they'll... I wouldn't be surprised if there's card games out there that just wholesale steal a bunch of people's fantasy artwork and such. But no, that would be really frustrating and it's not like the internet where you can just do a reverse image search and see if something of yours has popped up in something because this is like contained in a game. How would you know unless you played it or someone that's seen your work played it for you? Sorry about this, there's a treasure chest I want to grab. Oh yeah, and people are mentioning the app games that resemble other games. It's almost like, you know how... For say, say for instance when like Frozen or Ice Age or something, uh, whenever an animated movie comes out, you can find that there's two or three rip-off ones yep. that you uh, Punch Kick Panda. Punch Kick Panda's one? Oh yeah. So that was based off of Kung Fu. Uh, yeah, and the thing is, because the major film studios and animation studios take a while to release their version, if there's any press release showing concept art or basic ideas or designs for the characters, these other companies will take those ideas. They won't know what the exact plot of the official story will be for the upcoming release, but they'll just try to push out their product 
usually it releases a month or two before the actual movie. Have you ever noticed that with like Redbox and mm -hmm. stuff? So, or it comes immediately after so that it's also a technique to try to get parents confused. Yep. Or grandparents confused. They'll be like, oh, this looks like Frozen. Oh, yeah. There's and a ton of like knockoff iPhones. Ice and... princesses. Wait, what? Uh, there's a ton of like knockoff iPhone, uh, iPhone, like PlayStations, Game Boys, whatever. You name it, there's probably a knockoff of it to some degree. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a friend once who got a, uh, I want to say it was an, like a nin Nintendo uh, game box instead of a GameCube. Mm -hmm. And it, it had like a suite of, uh, you know, kind of almost Nintendo games uh, to confuse effectively grandparents uh, that don't know enough about... About the product to know what's authentic. Yeah. Yeah, there's... People have been getting, in the art community, these figures... You know how there are those really intricate figure art dolls? And I decided to get one just in case I ever wanted to do a webcomic and needed really weird perspectives, like a top-down view of, you know, a character it really helps with that. Uh, usually I draw completely from my head, but for poses like that, where you're looking really, like, far down on top of a character, it's like, nah, it'd be good to have some kind of reference for that. So people have been getting these really intricate sort of like action figures. They're kind of like action figures, but they're really highly posable. And they do have, obviously, a bunch of anime and video game characters, but you can also get ones that are, in a way, like blanks, if you will. And so, but there's been just a smorgasbord of fakes, because with the, with 3D printing and models- Oh yeah, it's so and, easy. Well, and the other thing, too, is because so many of these products are made in uh, China and such, sometimes the companies get a hold of the molds, copy them, and then create more... Oh, huh, that's interesting. What is it? Queen it's like Rina. a deer garden or something? May the true followers of Queen Rena find their path. Hidden away, purple royal flags pointing down. True followers... Prove, Prove your, your loyalty. loyalty to the queen and leap into the abyss. That's what that purple flag was, remember? At the very beginning? Wander? Uh, at the very beginning of this? Yes, remember how I said, hey look, that one banner is purple. That's, that's how you have to jump down. There's a purple. Where? Oh, I'm back here. You're back down. Well, do you want to go to the one on the first floor? That's the purple flag, just to see where it goes. Yep. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, it's worth it. I just don't remember where it is. I, I've been, I, you know, when I'm doing like semi precision platforming. My brain is just, like, very focused on what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, and people okay, are talking about bootlegs section. at conventions. Yep. A lot of anime conventions have to be very wary of whether or not the people at tables are who they say they are, and if they're selling other people's artwork. I've even seen... This is a prevalent thing, too. See, that's, that's the purple one. Oh. More platforms. And there's been a sort of... Oh, hey, this is a better kept statue. You found a cassette tape. Played at save stations. Oh, brave follower of the queen, you who have proved your loyalty and leaped inside the abyss. Please hear my plea. I am one of the last survivors of Queen Rena's followers. I have created this shrine to honor her memory. I was the only one who witnessed what that wretched little coward did to the queen. 
Since her demise, I have remained hidden inside these walls. I'm afraid age has caught up with me. Sigis has grown strong and smart. I cannot even get close to that monster. How did he get so powerful? If anyone is reading this, please, avenge our true leader, our powerful Queen Reyna. Destroy that traitor Stitches for her sake. I bid you farewell, brave one. Interesting. Oh. Shell is fading out. Oh, a little closer. Oh. You've got the double pop filter, so you can actually keep it next to your face now. Oh, okay. I got the double pop filter, so, uh... So, yeah, so that you I wouldn't probably don't need to worry much. about the puzz nearly as much. Puh, 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 puh. Yeah, I'm not hearing it as bad from you. Okay. These don't have reset. Good. Can people hear me now? Hopefully. Can you hear me now? Good. Yeah, so... And, and there's also been people that are Reset splatter artists what they do is they essentially have photoshop traces of other people's artwork and they add those artistic sort of uh, what would you call well i mean i suppose essentially splatter but all of those droplets of paint spread about uh on usually a white background and people have been called out for it and such and it's just ah uh, it's that's fair use no it isn't But that's the kind of thing that people would say. I don't really like the whole excuse of, it was on the internet. I hate that excuse. I hate that so much. Mm -hmm. Or it's from Google. No, Google just indexes searches and the results are hosted on other sites, but there have been websites with the weirdest names just meant to scrape yep. data. I really wish that bot internet sites were erased from the web because uh, I, I would just prefer if humans were managing websites like that. I understand why there are automated scripts for things. Oh, oh no, what? I goofed. Okay, but what these sites are trying to do is they're trying to draw people to them to get ad revenue or to spread malware. And they take anything. Oh, yeah. Like, if you look up at a title for any one of Wander's videos, you will find dozens of sites hosting and offering the videos for download. Well, it's not actually... You know, yeah, sort of... There are, there are ones that offer it for download. Uh, but yeah. for all you know, though... They yeah, could no. just be luring people to buttons that actually distribute malware, as opposed to actual downloads. So, but some of those sites are just embedding. That's why I don't like embedding. Embedding is good if you want to have, if you have a, your own personal website and you want to host your videos on it, but. Funny. There's a lot of extra bits here. Hmm. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ow. Oh, it hurts when you fall in this one. But enough about like art theft rants and stuff. We get into it all the time. Money. Yeah, people are still talking about Game Maker and whatnot. I... Uh... Well, so was this a Game Maker game? I believe so, yeah. I believe it was made in Game Maker. That's why it's a little clunky sometimes. The hit detection's a bit weird. I think it's also the developer's first game that they've ever made. Mm-hmm. Which, nothing wrong with that. Especially if it's done well. Or in this case, written well. I think that's, um... That's the saving grace of, like, a number of games. Like, this and Wander Song were definitely not, like, good in a lot of cases. You know, they were they had hey. a lot of... Well, no, no, no. Like, I from mean, a gameplay perspective, both of them were... But are, does something have to be so mechanically complex to be... Good. In, no. Right. I, I'm just I'm talking, like, sheer mechanical proficiency. Uh, whereas, like, God of War, and no matter 
what you think of the game. The most recent one is very nearly perfect. Uh, just in terms of, like, it has been made that well. There we go. Got it. Um, but I really believe it. Quite, if, at least for me, a substantial part of the game is our. Well, yeah, the writing, the, like, the character, the, the music, the ambiance, yeah. the art. And so it's like, gameplay wise, yeah, neither are great, but they they are more than the sum of that specific part. Yeah, I don't actually mind games that lack combat specifically because I, I, I grew up with puzzle games like Myst and such, and obviously each puzzle presented a new thing that they had to program, a new object that you had to interact with, prerequisites. Um, but it was one of those things where much of the game was just the the act of exploring, observing, reading, taking in the sounds, the sights, the lore. It's actually really refreshing to find games that don't rely on combat. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no. So I'm gonna start you from the very... Um... Eh, sort of. It sets me back a little bit. Right. Oh, right. I can't hood. I actually fall faster with the hood. Oh. Yeah. So I actually do really enjoy the games that have been coming out that don't focus on combat. There we go. I was trying to... I like how in this game there's the option not to. And I really do wonder if her listing off you know, consequences, or at least the consequences were in bright red text. You know what I mean? Yeah. Are you okay? Uh, You're suddenly very, very antsy. Antsy? Uh, I'm uncomfortable. I don't know. I... I mean, you know, I've had kind of a lot of things on my mind. No! Uh, don't get distracted. No, I slid off. Ooh. Yeah. I should probably sit up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you are a slouchy a bit. Sorry. I was... It's kind of comfortable? No, this ain't gonna work. Um, but kind of combination of we haven't cut my hair in a while, which really isn't that big of a deal. I can cut your hair I've been offering to. Uh, I actually don't mind having long hair, honestly. It's mainly just the problem of, uh, it's a little tickly. And, uh, I'm not quite used to that yet. Or ever. I don't know. I, I'm a weirdly itchy person. Like, <laughs> I'll just be sitting there and it's like, your shoulder itches like crazy. You need to fix that. And I'm like, I, there's nothing, nothing is, um, I've done nothing to deserve this. I mean, maybe you need lotion. <laughs> <laughs> no. Moisturize me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your your Darth Sidious moisturizing. Thing. Yeah, I mean technically it's uh it's a lady from um Doctor Who who demands to be moisturized. Oh right, the skin that's yeah. stretched on that platform. Yeah. Just like one of the villains, and I guess I, I somehow saw that lived episode. hundreds of years. I saw that episode. That was one of the very few episodes of Doctor Who I've ever seen. Yeah, I haven't really actively tried to get you into it, mainly because I'm. Not super interested myself. It's one of those things where, because each doctor is a different person, you sort of develop. I don't, I don't want to say necessarily favorites. Uh, yeah, but, an attachment to one. No, it's. I'm gonna make sense. Well, and so my first exposure to Doctor Who was, was it Eccle? What, oh, what was Christopher his name? Eccleston. Right, and he was very dour and serious, and I could sort of respect that. But then immediately after him was the kooky, crazy, what was it, Tennant? Yeah, David Tennant. Right. So then I'm like, wait, but then what is, what's Doctor Who supposed to be? Is it supposed to be a comedy or is it supposed to be a, uh, you know, a dramatic mm. interstellar adventure? You know what I mean? Yeah. So it confused me a bit. And I'd only ever seen a couple episodes from both of those seasons. Though, I suppose now there's the new season with the female Doctor. So that'll be interesting. 
I'm huh. a little upset that you... Oh. Can you light that brazier? Probably I don't not. know. Maybe? Not right now. I should probably pull them out. You know... That's another deep, dark abyss right there. Oh! Don't stare too much. It m m might stare back. Oh! But yeah, I don't know. I think my main complaints with Doctor Who, I could deal with the character switching. It's just the fact that they're the, that it's one of those Eternal series. Hmm. You know, it's why Never I, ending. yeah, it's why I gave up on, um, it's why I gave up on, uh, Walking Dead, kind of, sort of, even though it does actually seem like Walking Dead might have a, um, Walking Dead is probably going to wind down to some extent, or at least they might do maybe a spin-off series here and there, because I I believe I haven't been able to see the most recent episode. Is that a shadow chase? Oh shit! That's another that's another child chasing me. Really? Yeah. Do you see it behind me? Oh, keep running! Uh. It. Is it transparent though? Is it? No, I'm fairly tangible? certain that's another child chasing me. Well, you're we slightly faster. We might also faster. be in an infinite corridor situation. I have to be caught by it. That would be interesting. Wait, no, blue flame. Oh. oh. Uh oh. You can't. You can't fight it. Oh no. Can you heal? I I don't know. Will this ruin everything? I don't know what that was. No, that was like a weird shadow child. That was not another one it of the kids. It was a mirror. I couldn't of talk to him, I couldn't bribe him, I couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. There was a, a no pay option. I think that's actually one of the few mandatory fights you have in this zone. Can you heal? Uh yeah, I could. I'll heal when I need to, though. But... We're gonna keep encountering these guys. And they're gonna keep getting harder. Sort of? It's interesting. It's monkey see, monkey do, sort of. They'll counter you if you hit them wrong. Can you please heal? Yeah, I just want to conserve as many of those as possible. Because we might get a, a save room at some point. Oh. Well, that was anticlimactic. Huh? Seriously. It was just a straight hallway with nothing in it. Oh. I appreciate the time to rest at least. Ah. Ah. What's with you, kid? Oh, they really didn't see the ghosts that he was fighting? Guys! Rono? What are you d doing here? The Baron sent us to help you guys. Uh, us? Ah! Whoa, whoa, thanks. We got you covered, sister. And yet, they still don't like being jumped on. Yep, they get Even though this is their purpose in life, and we're sent here for this specific purpose. I really wish that there was some lore with the statues, but there, there isn't with Stitches. Yeah, it would be neat if they were actually revealing more Stitches lore as we went along. Oh well. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, you know what? Oh. Oh. They have candles. Okay, I get them. it. I was assuming that this was something that we'd have to, like... She's powering them. Yeah. I was assuming this is something we'd have to, like, come back to, like, activate the platforms or something in a different location. Mm-hmm. Oh. You to, okay. You have to jump. Leap of faith. Well, I guess less faith. 
more just leap. Huh, there seem to be more platforms than what's necessary, huh? Yeah. Well, that one was arguably worth it. Nope. Oh, no. Get over to the left. Yeah. I mean, I think we're fine. We're just supposed to land over here. Oh. Yeah. That's something. I think uh, we're supposed to get that money up top on the way back. Okay. Yeah, I didn't realize there was going to be a section over here on the right. So I think Stitches might be hiding as one of the statues. I'm fairly certain he is because there's a there was a missing statue earlier. Right, right. There was just a pedestal. Yep. Mm, uh, but this thing's a little as asynchronous. There we, there we go. I mean, not actually that big of a deal because I could have. Ugh. Oh, oh, no. Mr. Coin. My money. My money, I need that. There we go. Luckily, the platforms, like, kind of glitch out a little bit when you jump on them. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're fine. Uh, yep, so it looks like you have one. to go to the one on the right. Oh, boy. What? This one goes up and down quite a lot. I didn't see any money, though. It... I like the idea of this. I'm just not entirely sure how much is necessary. You know, yeah, let's go all the way down to this one. I, yeah. I'm trying to find whatever whatever money. Yeah, just not all of them have something. Come but on. I gotta... I gotta have my money. Ah, treasure chest. It's probably got a key. Yep. Yep, there's the key. No. Oh, the purple. No, the purple. Okay, I know exactly how to do this one. Except you. Enter the pit. You're missing. The Enter the pit. Ouch. Enter the pit. You you could just ride that up again. No 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 no. It would take too much work. There we go. Got it. We're good. I straight up don't even have a use for this money at this point. Unless the shop suddenly gets an upgrade. Now, are you sure you're not supposed to go all the way over to the right to get no. even further? We got the key. But there was stuff up above. Uh, no. Yeah, there was. I don't think so. Up I don't think the right? there was anything no? any higher. No. Okay. We just we just needed that for the key to get in here. All right. Also, it doesn't really matter that much. Like, straight up, unless I want to start fighting those masked kids. Oh. Oh, she can't light it? No. You can't hide in those. The lights are on. That will blow your cover. It seems impossible to go forward without confrontation. What if we could b b blow off the fire instead? Do you anyone know anyone with those abilities? Is he nearby? Would you talk with Bozo? Or what's his name? Or I could. This is possible. Yeah, you need a ghost. Oh, there he is. There he is. Spill it. Hey, we might need your help again. Could you p p perhaps use your towns to blow off some of those pesky torches for us? Say no more. I'll see you up ahead. <laughs> We are good to go. I like this castle. I, I like this as a final dungeon. It's appropriate. I see what your problem is. Don't sweat it. I've got this, bros. <laughs> Ooh, I like those pink candles. Magenta, I should say. They're pretty. That stitch just looks like the. Oh, I mean, maybe it's stone, but it. Yeah, I don't know. Smell you later! Oh. Go down. Oh. 
Oh. 